Hey there everyone, you're watching Rusping and today we're going to be trying to make a boxer engine in Scrap Mechanic. Let's go. <laughs> so you heard me correctly, today we're going to be trying to make a boxer engine. Like a Subaru Impreza boxer engine. So it's not going to be obviously like gas injected and everything it's just going to be a bearing uh powering most of it now fair warning i have tried to see if it would be possible it would be and if i can i'll try to give it like power to uh some wheels just at the end if my brain can work this out now i need tools i'll need to build the base out of concrete three uh I'll build the rest of it out of this and we need frictionless blocks now they aren't exactly frictionless there is still friction but it's pretty low compared to the rest of it if we look here the uh, friction is 2 and if I go like for example here friction is 4 this one is probably super high no not that much oh I forgot to pull out the image hold on <laughs> so uh, let's make a base actually just do that and do this here I'll make make it like that I guess that would be good um I don't know how high up I'll go approximately here would be good then put the bearing there oh I need an engine that's what I need uh, take an electric Cinco. make sure it's turned off and I don't care which direction it's going so, uh, if I look at the image, I want to go out by two. Then I need to go go out by like this much. Put a bearing in this, then put another bearing, then go back to the middle. Then there it is. Uh, if you could just like maybe stop. There it is. Uh, put bearing block bearing three go back to the center there okay this is kind of why i want it on a lift so i think i'll just put it back onto a lift and we'll work with that uh then i want this to be spinning so go out like that and now I need to start color coding. So it is green here, 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 and here. Off. Start on the sp on the pistons on the pistons afterwards. I need to do the same thing, but the pistons will be in a different orientation. All right. Whew! A big brain time. Okay, so I'll finish this and then I'll meet you guys right back out. So I've color painted uh, most of it and I've done this. Now let's just like pop it off the lift. Hmm. Right. So that's going to be an issue. Because yesterday I was only doing the first two and it would stop right here. I didn't necessarily think of that. So if I just do this... You can see those try to follow each other, but because of this, what if I crank it up a bit? Okay, let's not crank it up a bit. Uh, I'll put it back down, and I'll start straight away with the pistons, I guess.
empty this up and we'll just see if at least this works. So this is gonna dangle. Okay, no collisions so far. And it seems to slide like I want it to. Okay, that's a bit too fast. So I won't be able to do some higher pip. Now, I don't like the fact that it goes like up and down, but I feel like if I use another block, it's gonna mess it up. Plus, it's probably unprecise because of, um, well, you know, that. That's a pretty good test. So I'll put it back on the lift and I'll get going with the second one. And I'll hope I won't fuck it up. You know what I've just realized? Um, maybe this is causing some issue. I've, it'll stay together, right? Okay, yeah. So I'll remove that. Just to make sure that the block can actually, like, it won't be, like, stuck like this. It can actually wiggle a little bit more if it's just this. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's not the right block. All right, I'll be right back. done and I'll drop it off the lift this is gonna fall but this will stay okay uh, I'm gonna fix it just gonna need a controller to make the bearings non well not move freely non freely uh, it'll probably freakily freak it up a bit just a bit yep <laughs> Do them all so they won't have any rotations they'll just be there this will have to stay free floating though all right so now they don't flippity flop around let's try to see maybe not this one okay yeah so it's a bit shaky because it's not welded to the ground there's a lot of friction a lot more than there should be. So, what if I? It's not the one I wanted to delete. Let's replace that. Put it in blank. It's already a bit better. Remove as much as I can. Shouldn't break. So, I think I broke something. I did. That's fine. I'll stop it, do the same thing to the other one. I knew something like that was gonna happen. I did the same thing. I didn't want to... God, no, come back. <laughs> come back. <laughs> this is what I meant by no friction. All right, now, don't do the same mistake. At least it's an easy fix. Uh, I'm not too mad about that. And, uh... Beep, 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 and zoopity zoop zap. When is that clear that I destroyed that wasn't meant to be destroyed? Oh, yeah. So... There's no middle, middle section part. It's just... Mr. Krabs' claws now. 
So that's a cool piston. Um, sure. Let's try it again. Speed 2. You can see that there's a little bit of tension because it doesn't really stay exactly in place. But you can see also the piston heads don't like... They don't go up and down anymore. Speed it up a bit. That's okay. It's pretty good. Now it's inconsistent because uh, there's only two pistons. But... That's fine for now. Okay. Let's do the other pistons now. And I might run out of space. <laughs> Meet you when I'm done. Just fix themselves. Um, <laughs> just see. It's because of you. I did save this. What if, as soon as I drop it off? It goes. Almost. I could see it. There's a way to do this. I know there is. Whether it takes me five hours or two hours. Oh god. <laughs> Misclick. There's, There's a miss input. Miss input. Calm down. Calm down. If it works, I'll eat my socks. socket what if I just make it go faster oh it started working and as soon as it did it built an emerald <laughs> socket i don't get it you're a true subaru engine annoying pisses me off you're more annoying than a fucking rotate rotary rotary chicken yeah rotary engine thank you very much there is because the piston lengths are the same so me blocking the pistons made it where is it where's the asymmetry here It's 
it's the pistons themselves. How long was that? I'm gonna put a counter up of how long it took me since the making of those pistons, those piston heads, up to now. I am so fucking stupid. It's incredible. <laughs> uh, so much of my time wasted. I, I'll never get it back. <laughs> yeah, that's good, right? That seems to be working the right way. Now <laughs> the entire thing's going. Okay, well now that it's symmetrical, let's try to do something else. Because I'm fucking tired of that. Let's try to give it the gas from here. Now you're gonna flop down. That's fine. It's not fine. Surely it picks it up, right? It wants to so bad. Okay, notch down. Starting to see it. It did start. Okay. Oh, oh. Pause, pause. Pog, pause, pog. It's just that middle section that really, really doesn't want to do that. save this and I'll try to do a design that's quite bigger I'll do it next to each other so only one piston so I'll tell you my plan so I am going to make a single bearing not two bearing but it's gonna be manually built So that yellow part that you're seeing is the actual bearing that would be in the engine. <clears throat> because in Scrap Mechanic, it's when you put two bearings on three like separate planes. Um, it doesn't act the same as a normal piston would, if you get what I'm saying. Know what I'm saying, brother? Sheesh. All right, see? Now that would work. And it's only powered by one way.
Okay, so after a little while, what I've come up with is this easy mechanism where you just remove these cardboard blocks so that you free everything up for the movement. Should go... We'll see, <laughs> I guess. There's collision somewhere. Okay, that's the collision there. So it picks it up pretty smoothly. Uh, I think there's some collision at the bottom here. Or here. There's a lot of torque though from the other one, I presume. The only difference there is, is I had to extend that part, the blue part in the middle, uh, to connect those two pistons. They can't be right next to each other. Um, because it is free floating at the other end, um, there's nothing really attached to it that follows it. So obviously it's not solid. So I do believe that it is possible to make a boxer engine. I'm just gonna end this here. Just, I can't. <laughs> it is possible to make a boxer engine in this game or an engine at all, matter of fact. But um, I just don't have the brain for it, I guess. I'm, I'm pretty close. I might give it another shot some other time, but for now, I guess that's the best I can do. I could listen. I'm going to try it once more, attaching two bearings, going the same way. Why is it fighting? <laughs> what? Alright, well that's gonna be it for this video. Fuck off. <laughs>